Get ready for your daily dose of WordPress and web development tips, tricks, and insights to help you find success with WordPress. You're listening to WP The Podcast with your hosts, David Blackman and Tim Streifler. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of WP The Podcast brought to you by WP Gears. I'm Tim Streifler and my co-host David Blackman is still out for the time being, but we'll be back with us soon. In today's episode, we are talking about comment spam, how to eliminate WordPress comment spam for good. And there's actually two steps. So you might be thinking you already know what what the solution is and you probably know step one because it's a very common, the most popular solution. Uh, but there's a, a second step to that as well to really make sure uh, comment spam is completely eliminated. Um, now, I remember the first time I got comment spam, I didn't actually know it was comment spam. Uh, I was very new to WordPress, very new to setting up, you know, a website, a blog, that sort of thing. And uh it was like I published a blog post and no one really knew about my website. Uh, I was a nobody and no one, I uh, wasn't driving traffic. I wasn't ranking. And all of a sudden I got a comment and I was like thrilled. And it wasn't a very obvious comment spam. It wasn't something like, uh, you know, Viagra pills, you know, click here type of thing. It was more of the type of comment spam that's like, uh, Hello from blah, blah, blah. I, I came across your post and I'm very excited uh, that you wrote about this and I was able to learn a lot and I really think that you should continue writing about uh, about these types of topics because it really adds value to the internet. You know, something like that where it's vague, but it, it's not like deliberately like uh, advertising something. And so it kind of sounds like it could maybe be real. Um or at least it did to my very uh, green beginner uh, mindset and skill level. Uh, and so I was like, no way, awesome, and like approve. Um, and basically they do that for a couple of reasons. Um, you might be wondering, well, if they're not like promoting something, what, like what's what it's the purpose of it? Um, it's kind of indirect. Um, first of all, that they're bots and they're going out and they're finding WordPress websites popular or not popular and then they're automatically posting comments and they are uh, typically they're in a lot of cases they're not really trying to get the comment published so other people will see it it's really for you they put a url in the website field hoping that you'll be like oh i got a comment who is this person and then you go and check it out um, it's kind of a double win if you publish the comment and then other people see it and then click the link. Um, but yeah, it's kind of for you as the owner in a lot of ways. Uh, and so it's once you realize it's spam, it's it's annoying. It's kind of insulting. You're just like, oh, get out of here. Um, and so the number one way, uh, but it's not a complete way. Um, but it definitely will get you most of the way there is to install the plugin Akismet, and that's spelled A K I S M E T. And uh, it's actually by Automatic, the, um, uh, the co founder of WordPress, Matt Mullenweg's company. And so Akismet basically will automatically um, block spam comments. And so they have uh, creative ways of detecting whether or not it's spam based off of IP address, stuff like that. And so um, they'll get rid of like 95% or more. Um, occasionally, um, comments will get past it. And actually, most of the time that I install Kismet, it'll solve the problem for good. And it's that's it. Uh, but there's sometimes websites that just, for whatever reason, just get hammered. And so you have to do something else. And so a good way to do that is you can install Google reCAPTCHA for WP comments. Um, let me double check, that's the exact name of the plugin. Uh, but basically um, it will uh, make it so the little I'm not a robot box comes up and then um, it will uh, make it so they have to uh, click the box saying that I'm not a robot. And so, uh, I'm sorry, it's not actually a plugin. There's a tutorial that we're gonna link to here. Um, 
in the uh, show notes an article on WP Beginner, and they teach you how to do it, how to add it to the site. And so um, it's, uh, or I'm sorry, there is a plugin with it, but we'll, we'll link to the full tutorial. But yeah, reCAPTCHA and WP Comments Form is the name of the, the WordPress plugin. Um, so again, reCAPTCHA and WP Comments Form. And uh, yeah, that will add it to WordPress Comments. Um, the tutorial that we'll link to will we'll show you how uh, more thoroughly, but um, yeah, that can fully, fully eliminate uh, comment spam because you can't be a bot. They can't be an automated bot. Um, it just won't work. Um, but we definitely recommend installing Akismet first because it's easy and it's uh, behind the scenes, it's seamless to where your users won't have to click the I'm not a robot or do the little uh, verification where they have to select all the photos with cars in it or whatever, uh, which can be kind of annoying. And so um, if you can eliminate, you know, the majority of comment spam with the Kismet, then I think that's the, the best way to do it without having to add recapture. But if you're still getting hammered with a lot of comment spam, then add the, the Google recapture, uh, WP comments. So, um, that is it for today's episode. Tune in for tomorrow's episode. We're going to be talking about a really useful plugin for tracking, uh, user activity on your WordPress website until then take care. Bye-bye. We've come to the end of today's episode of WP The Podcast. Join us tomorrow for more daily tips and strategies designed to help you run your WordPress business towards success. Remember to subscribe to WP The Podcast so you can stay up to date with each episode. And don't forget to rate and review us. We'll see you again tomorrow right here on WP The Podcast.